Okay, welcome to the Finance Committee meeting of uh, January 30th, 2020. So I'll call the meeting to order at 624. <coughs> and minutes? We do minutes or are we going to do those? I sent them out. So if you read them, they, they we can approve them. I, I don't think I got them. I emailed them. Um, they look fine to me. I can't tell you that I actually sat and yeah. checked everything, but they looked all right to me. They look when like did you did. send them? Just a uh, couple of days after, so probably the 17th, thereabouts, like the Saturday after the last meeting. Okay. Did you receive them? Uh, but I can't remember when it was. It was Saturday or Sunday after the, the last meeting. Well, that was that was the last meeting that you were. That at. I was at after the, the 13th meeting that we had. Were the ones week. that I took the you minutes. You were taking. Yeah, minutes. and I have, did not take those out. <coughs> Good. So this is the meeting of the. We voted Allison's. Oh, did you? Okay. Approve minutes. All right. Okay, we did. Then. All right. But we. No, we didn't. We didn't. I, think. I, think I don't think we, we did. did. No, we didn't. We're we going to wait on those because mm -hmm. in we we're skip right. You took minutes yes. last meeting, yes. so okay. I've got to get them in, in a form that I can give them to Selectman's office, and they are in that <coughs> form, so that you can read them also. Okay, uh, so can we can we vote those then? Which ones? I'm confused. Which ones? The ones that from were from vote Allison's. Two weeks ago. I didn't print them out. I can't. January 13. Um, I can send them along. The email was on January 18. Yeah, it would have been a few days. I thought we. I expected to get a hard copy like we always do. Well, you should ask your committee chair to print them then. But <laughs> I don't need a hard copy, so I won't be printing them for you. All I know is I don't have a hard copy. All right, we'll wait. So I don't have to vote. You can do a vote without me. No, we'll wait. Time. Okay. All right. Good. Let's move on. Mr. Pittori, whenever, uh, whenever you're ready. So the first, the first group of budgets that we're going to look at are the police budgets. And the first one is the 210-5110, police payroll. Brenda made it up so she can answer any questions you have. <laughs> I like that response. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, John, I'll turn it over to you and, and uh, whatever comments you want to make, we will. Uh, Sure, we're kind of in a transition year. We've hired a couple new people. I'm sure the, the board is aware that we lost two of our officers to the state police. So you do see some uh, numbers in here that are changing slightly. We did hire Tim Boland as a new police officer. He starts the police academy February 10th. Marissa Smith, you see her more up top. Uh, Marissa was hired last summer and went through the academy. Happy to say that she graduated first in her class of 43 people. Yeah, right. um, yeah. congratulations. She's sorry. Uh, Marissa's an amazing police officer. She's an amazing person. She relates to the public unbelievably, and she's off the charts with intelligence. So she's the full package. Wow. The longer we can keep her, the better off we are. So, Excellent. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, it dropped the Quinn bill down slightly. So you do, you do see the Quinn bill go down below from 90,000 back to 67.4, down right in the middle of the page, because mm -hmm. the new officers that were hired do not have associates or bachelor's degree yet. The Quinn bill is an educational incentive. It, uh, it adjusts the base hourly rate of police officers for an associate's degree, 10%, a bachelor's degree is 20%, and a master's degree is 25%. Yes, so um, it's been around since 1974, it was amended in 76, where they cut a master's degree down from 30% to 25%. And ultimately, it was pushed in in the late 60s, early 70s by Attorney General Quinn to bring on more educated police officers. They wanted to increase the education, the visibility, and uh, the total spectrum of policing. And it worked well over the years. So unfortunately, what it did over the years is it held the base pay back 
because of the communities pay the Quinn bill on top of it. So years ago, when legislature refused to continue to pay the 50%, it left all the towns in an extremely awkward environment of whether to fulfill that 100% agreement or not. Some communities out there pay the Quinn bill, some don't. And you certainly can venture to guess where the educated police officers go and retain a job. They go to the Quinn bill communities and that's where they stay. So there are a few variable numbers here. Ultimately, down below, you do see about a 2.12% increase, which is about $18,000 on the budget. And I certainly will entertain any questions that anybody has. Questions? What's shift coverage versus extra hours? I'm not questioning the amounts. I just... Yeah, there's, um, there is a difference between the two when we actually break it down. Shift coverage is when we run two patrols 24-7 and there is a slight variable between the extra patrol shifts required to backfill for part-time people and extra hours is more the specialized events, John. It's uh, events that you really can't equate for from Memorial Day to bike races uh, to runs. Deerfield, we know that we're the little hub community of South County and these extra events pop up on our radar literally weekly where we're sticking on extra staffing and extra patrols. Good question. Actually, I have one right now. Climate Change Forum on the February 29th. I was hoping to have an extra officer. Yes, Chris Curtis already hit me up. Okay. Yes, you're secondary. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Chris already hit me up for that and wondered if we could have an extra one or two people that escort groups around and make sure things flowed well time-wise. Yeah. Yes, so it, Those are the Little kind of Deerfield is just busy. There's always something on the radar every weekend. There's something at the schools. We're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's a good thing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'll make a motion to approve the police payroll budget. Uh, $867,354. I'll second it. I have a motion to second. Any further questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 500. Zero, zero. Uh, the next item, police expenses. P10, 5400. Sure. What did we move over, Brenda? Uh, the copier printer, the very last line mm -hmm. item, used to be in contracted services. It's now in John's budget. This is the printer that is solely in his, um, his area. And then... Um, the Comcast, um, kind of two-thirds of the way down, the Comcast uh, line item is in his budget this year, but it was not budgeted for, um, so it is being budgeted for in fiscal 21. And then um, about a third of the way down, up, up higher, telephone wireless, um, he's always uh, had the cell phones uh, in his budget, but not the landlines. And now that the town has separated the landlines so that we're on Comcast and he's still on Verizon, it made sense just to put the Verizon bill back in his budget. Yeah, so years ago, if you rewind the clock to 2010, 2011, you'll see that uh, the Finance Committee and Bernie wanted to combine all technology services, the telephones, all under one account, and it went under town contracted services. Mm -hmm. And little by little, we've, over the last three to four years, started pushing the cost back onto each individualized department. So one of the questions I had with this with Brenda, I said, well, make sure that whatever you're transferring out of town hall contracted services gets reduced on that end. Don't it, fry me on town meeting. And it like, did. Yes. Like, if, if you're transferring this into my budget, make sure we're reducing it on that other side so it doesn't look like a total increase. Back in 2010, if you go back to the expense budget for the police department, 10 years ago, 11 fiscal years ago, it was $110,000. It pretty much is status quo until we start pulling that stuff away. The, yes, uh, so, so the items that we brought back into his budget amounted for $8,500 of the um, increase. Of the 10000 Of the 10000 right. Yeah, Yeah, I, I put in for $1,000 more for tires for cruisers. Seems like we're... The, the tires are just jumping up astronomically. We used to buy those tires for $64 a piece, and now they're like 160 even on state bid. It's like you can buy them for your personal car for the same amount. 
It's ridiculous. You need to use the bicycles more. Bicycle? Yeah. 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 Motorcycle or the bicycle? Bicycles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or they only have two tires. We'll have the walking patrols. Yeah. Well, the bicycle was amazing years ago when we had 300 kids in the town common on a Friday night. Now we have 300 kids at home on iPads. So the bicycle is not nearly um, as realistic these days. I, the telephone wireless, uh, we expect to spend approximately $8,000 this current year. Is that what you're telling us, basically? In, in fiscal 21. Fisc in, fisc in fiscal 20, it's still in the contracted services oh, budget. Oh, okay, okay. So I there's, thought, there's currently 4000 in my budget. There's 4000 yep. additional. Okay. So the $4,000 in the town hall budget right now is for hard lines. The $4,000 in my budget is for all those mobile data terminals for the air cards and my cell phone. So that's the monthly bill. Our normal monthly Verizon bill for police for all the air cards and all the cruisers in my cell phone is about $270. You times that out times the 12 months, that gives you that line item in the 30, current police 3, budget. $3,200. Huh? $3,240. Yeah, so somewhere around well, there. You add taxes into that yep. and, or you know, yep. other fees. And we don't pay it, taxes. I, yeah. Right. We don't. Yep. You're right. But it's more like 290 I think. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then the hard lines are where we're adding in now. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, uh, other, any other questions? Yeah. Brenda, Com Comcast, you said it was moved from contracted services? Yes. I don't see where it was or I, I can't see it in contracted services uh well it it has been moved and it was and it was reduced in in fiscal 20 the dollar amount is still sitting in contracted services in fiscal 21 we moved it out but are you talking about broadband broadband connection pardon is that broadband connection or is it a different line item That's uh, different no line. that is that is um that is comcast so so in total, okay. so in total, and I'm seeing Comcast is up. Okay. Thirty-seven hundred. You're absolutely right, but but the difference is the telephone lines. So there's ninety-five hundred dollars in the town office expense budget that used to be for telephones. So because we had a contract with Verizon, the the town moved to Comcast, and and that contract is is higher because of the landlines being included in there. So you'll see that there's no expense in the town office expense budget this year. It's all in, in okay. the contracted service. So sorry, it's, it's, it's a transitioning. It's more than, okay. One Thank more. you. Another quick question that didn't make sense, did it? on the copy or printer. Yes, sir. For the 2800, what does that cover? That's our uh, maintenance fee. It includes all toner for it and them to come out and maintain that at any point in time. And, okay. and any overages, so they give, you a, they, they give you a certain amount of pages that you can print, but if you go over that, you pay extra every right. month and, mm -hmm. and the police always go over. Right, okay, all right. I just wanted, to, yes, I just wanted to cross reference that because in the five year plan for FY23, is right, it's yep. for a new cop here. Yep. All right. It's, so, it's going to be good for me to see the bill every month because I don't see it. Pat Kroll always just signs off and it goes to Diana and then literally is submitted. She sees it. The mm -hmm. three of them see it. I don't. Right. So I don't even know for overage and we can renegotiate a new contract for a lower price. I, I don't know because I've never seen the bill. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, the is coming next Thursday morning. If you want yeah. To yeah. I just wanted to cross reference. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Any other questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve the budget. I'll make a motion for $110,300 for uh, the account number of 210-5400. Got a motion to second? Second. Moved, seconded. Any further questions? All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's five zero zero. Okay, next item, police cruiser. So, John, you'll have to take this one. Sure. Yeah, we were putting for in for 42500 We were transferring a lot of equipment out of those uh, similar cars until 2020 when they redesigned the car, and we had to put a brand-new cage in it, brand-new center console for the radios, 
and apparently a new laptop mount. Our cruiser has been built for the last three weeks for 2020 and they realized that the laptop doesn't fit in there. It's not compatible. So they had to fabricate something in there. I'm told from my cruiser maintenance guy that the, the actual invoice is coming in closer to 55,000. So I just asked Brenda to bump this up. This is for the new hybrid cruisers. So that car literally is being delivered to us tomorrow. From my understanding, we ordered that car last March 1st to get a car over to South County. Um, we've literally been in the pipeline for 10 months to get that car. We are getting the first one in the Commonwealth. So what year is, the, what model year is that That is car? a 2020 okay. Ford Utility Hybrid. It's not an Explorer, as everybody says, an mm -hmm. Explorer. But yes, it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty much the first one rolling out in the Commonwealth. My guys, uh, I'm gonna assign it to two senior guys to test it, to figure out do we like it, do we not? Do we order another hybrid May 1st after town meeting? Because it takes us six to eight months to get a car and really figure out once we cycle that car down to the regular patrol guys and girls, is it going to last? And yeah, we won't know I was that gonna ask you as far as what's the projected on. life expectancy Yeah, we don't of know. It. We don't know. We really don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Kip and I had this extended conversation. He said, John, it's old technology now. It, all the bugs should be worked out. And I said, I hope so. <laughs> like, I'm hoping we save gas. I'm hoping eventually we can reduce that gas budget. We can reduce our carbon footprint. We don't know. Is it worth the expenditure up front? The base price of a hybrid is $7,000 more than a gas model. So we need to, basically, we need to save $7,000 in gas or it's not worth it. Yes. Essentially. Yes. Yes. Or seven thousand over the life. Or you're investing in the climate overall, even if it saves you five. The yes. The projection actually with the consent was thirty two fifty a year in gas savings. You know, obviously it's projection depending on how you're using it. But yep. thirty two fifty a year. On each car. Yeah. We start ultimately taking so that in five years. So that's the possibility of ten to fifteen thousand dollars in gas savings. So with six so two years year we see the expenses down by about twenty thousand. Yes, we cycle them in. Yeah, you very well could. I have to say we've been using that. The town meeting has voted to support the extra expense of a hybrid in all our grant applications. So ever since we voted it last year, we've been part of our story. So, so I think it's paid off. Yeah, it's a worthwhile investment. It's just about does it hold up? We'll see. Uh, and, and, and we mm. can't tell. Well, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Well, it was like when we went from from the, uh, the crown, crown picks Vic to the utilities. To the utility vehicle, we didn't know. No. Uh, no, and we ran through problems with them. We mm -hmm. ran through where we had to replace catalytic converters for three years in a row, and all of a sudden Ford came out with a recall, and Ford, Ford Motor Works issued us a $2,800 check that went back into free cash three years ago. Because all of a sudden the recall came out after I was spitting, spitting mm -hmm. out nails, yes. One of the problems that we've noticed with the Fords is the new water pump is inside the engine and it goes at 60 to 80,000 miles and it's an eight to $900 fix. If you don't fix it in time, you'll blow an engine. Mm -hmm. yep. We learned the hard way, 97 or 98,000 miles on a car, we lost an engine, came through with a 100,000 mile warranty. We got a new engine at 97 or 98,000 miles. So before it hits the 100,000 mark, you need to replace the water. <laughs> yeah, you, we've got a constant, anywhere over 60,000 miles, we have to constantly be monitoring mm -hmm. the coolant in it. If that coolant starts to drop, that car's gotta go to Marcot Ford immediately for a water pump. You start losing coolant, no questions asked, it goes to Marcot now. Yep, and we just know that. That's part of our mm -hmm. operating procedure for it, yeah. It shouldn't be, but I don't blame you. You don't have much choice. Yeah. Yeah. Just like replacing time belts mm -hmm. on vehicles. Yep. Same idea. Some of those you don't do anymore. We used no. to do those at the 60,000. Right. Some you don't have to now. Yeah, we don't do them at all in these cars. Some you do, right. Yep. yep. So if the hybrids pay off, it'll be amazing. I think in two to three years, we're going to see that gas budget drop, yeah. which is going to be awesome because gas prices are not going to drop mm -hmm. with everything going on worldwide, mm -hmm. Middle East. Yeah. Questions? Brenda, the financials through December for this account has a, it shows original budget of 97.5. For which one, John? That is a combination of a couple of different accounts. 
So you have the motorcycle on there for 13.5. You have the um, <coughs> the police cruiser for 52.5. What does that leave? Radios. 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 Yeah. That would put set aside forty thousand dollars for 800 radios. Are those so other accounts? All those numbers drawn up together. So the. Be because of the account number I use, uh, SoftRight combines them all onto one line. Yeah, the 5800 line item, John, is uh, police cruisers, which was 525, and then originally $45,000 worth of radios. We spent 21472. So our current balance in that account is about $76,027, at which point we're going to get an invoice from MHQ tomorrow, probably right. for 55000 Okay. So yeah. the motorcycle was in but last year's budget. Then yep. there should be sheets in here that add up to the 97.5, right? No. Nope, the 800 was a, a one-time appropriation last year. Brenda just happened to combine it into that account for ease of use. We, we consider the cruiser as part of the omnibus budget because we get a new cruiser every year. Unlike other capital items that actually go through a special warrant article, so those aren't in the budget sheets, just the cruiser. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those are like, they're voted separately at the town meeting. Right. Okay, yeah. got it. So just for curiosity's sake, sure. how many, um, you buy a new cruiser every year and how long Yeah, we burn, up, we burn up about one car a year and they cycle on a five-year basis. So okay. what we find is when you have two people on duty 24 hours a day and they average about 71 miles a shift, it adds up to about 144,000 miles a year of patrol time before court training or other things. So the 144,000, once you add in that other stuff, usually equals about 160,000 miles a year. And you divide that out over the five car rotation, it's still 160,000 miles a year that you're dividing out over the car. So even the previous chief for 11 years before Mike was retired, he was going through one car a year. And now my eight years, we're on like year 19 of, we're burning up a car a year. Yeah, and actually, as the finance committee knows, I usually try and keep that car on for six to 12 months as a detail car, even after we burn it out. And the day it gives me a problem, it's gone to auction. Yep, so we try and get every mile we can out of them. It, ha it has, I, you know, we would had the discussion several years ago, and I don't know what precipitated it, but it was, you know, we really did need to keep one of those cruisers, even though we were no longer it wasn't sitting over here, it was sitting down at the mm -hmm. highway department. But if it's needed for, you know, detail work, it can sit there. But it's not costing us anything to sit there. Well, whatever it costs us mm -hmm. for the registration and insurance. But well, the really thing is, is every time it's on a detail, we bill it at $5 an hour. So about a year and a half ago, Kip came in my office and said, where's this $5 fee go? You told me we bill this. Can you show this to me? I said, absolutely. I pulled out an annual town report, flipped to the back. I said, Brenda's great about this. Here's the accounts. Here's the turn-ins. So when we bill out details, on average, here's $14,000 we received in this year from billing, from details that went into free cash. So I pulled out the previous year and said, no, no, no. He goes, no, I'm good. I said, no, no, no. Let's pull out the previous year and just see kind of how much we take in a year because I was interested. So we pulled out the previous year and we were eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 that we really get. And just for like your knowledge, I don't know if we've talked about this since you've been on the board, but to insure a car with us is usually about $460. That's kind of the breakdown. But it, it wasn't the revenue that made me support this. It was the fact that it's a safety issue. People will slow down when they see the detailed car with the, the lights. lights. Yeah. <clears throat> well, or, or the police cruiser, even if it's no, not lit up. But it has the ability of slowing down people. And it, so it's a safety issue for our officers. Really. Yeah, I don't know how. My preference is to take a detailed car and put it out there rather than take a current cruiser that we're using and let it sit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we don't want those miles on a new car. No. A, you know. no. 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 And when it burns up, it burns up. It, that's right. Yeah, because what are you going to get for trade on it? A grand? Yeah. It's not even worth it. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. I think we've gotten about $2,000 mm -hmm. on the average or 2500 But it's, it's a safety issue. I mean, uh, an officer gets hurt or... Awful thing but it's like less, killed, it's less but expensive to it's far less expensive the right. car with 160 170,000 miles just drive it out to wherever you mm -hmm. the detail is well, let it run for a half hour thing. shut it yeah. off <laughs> yep yep okay yeah that's a good question uh, so I think we need to vote this oh, yeah. I'll make a motion 
to approve the police department cruiser at 55,000. Second. It's moved, seconded. Any additional discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous, five zero zero. Uh, K-9 control. The last budget sheet in that tab, it's 292-5400. So the finance committee is aware that we do belong to a regional canine officer program. Um, he is amazing. He is primarily assigned out of Greenfield. We're in partnership with Montague, Greenfield, and Deerfield. So he's shared between the three communities. Deerfield pays 25% and Montague pays 25% and Greenfield pays 50% of all associated costs. The only thing on top of this down there is a uh, $1,000 fee that we pay out to the regional dog shelter in Montague that's run by the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. So overall, you have two fees in there. You have one for the regional dog shelter, and then you have one for the regional animal control officer. That's 25% of all associated costs. Current contract negotiation is showing about a 2% increase with Greenfield employees. So the chief up there recommended that we just add the 2% this year, which you see is the additional $376 for a total of $19,188. And Colin does everything. He is not our dog officer, he does animals. People have um, you know, hidden raccoons or rabid uh, skunks underneath their porch. He sets up a trap and he, uh, he discards or he sends them out for testing and notifies the neighbors. He's, bats. Yeah, bats. He's, he's bats amazing at what he does. Yeah. Yep. Picks up roadkill, I saw him do that. Oh yeah. Yep. Well. I'll make a motion to approve K-9 control count 292-5400 for 19,188. I'll second. Move, seconded. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Five zero zero. Thank you very much. Thank you. What other Thank questions you. you got for me, anybody? Thank you, Chief. Who's gonna win the Super Bowl? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Chiefs. Garoppolo. I have my choice. Who um, the Patriots going to get to uh, quarterback next year? To be determined. Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, Thank honestly, uh, being very direct with you, I'm interested to see how this hybrid works out. Being that we're getting it tomorrow, how well it holds up. Do we really see the gas savings? How is it received? And I think it's great going through back alleys behind 55 North Main Street or Primo's. You're not even here coming. <laughs> oh, you oh, sneak yeah. up on me. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> you won't even hear that thing coming. That's and true. so it's a matter of the police officers getting used to driving it because all of a sudden when an engine shuts off on you, you're kind of like, the first time it happens, what is this? I was going to say, I'm, I'm not, I haven't driven a hybrid, that, uh, so I don't know what that's, but It's yeah. kind of freaky to be at a stop <laughs> yeah, sign. I'm sure it probably is. With yeah. cars on all sides of you and then your car is shut off. It's but dead silent and it doesn't restart unless you really, on these, you have to step on the gas. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's ungodly. The dual technology will go zero to 60 in like... <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. I'm interested as far as longevity of it. I am too. It'll be interesting to see. I'm sure there'll be some issues. But you know, how well, how well okay. it does over the years mm -hmm. and how many years you can actually get out of them. Yeah. You know, regardless of mileage. I want to see the payback. Yeah. I'm partly cheap. I want to see the seven grand. <coughs> yeah, I okay. hear you. <laughs> so, the only, the only thing I'm partly my father. The only thing is, do we really, well, we don't have a choice. Do we really want to be the first, or do we want to be a year behind? Oh, Kip and, I, Kip and I debated this forever. He yeah. goes, the technology's been around for 15 years. He goes, I'm telling you, it's okay. And I'm like, are you sure we want to be the, like year one? <laughs> do we literally, oh yeah, yep, so to be determined. I could have egg on my face in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We've had one of my, our family for years, and they're great. Are they? Yeah, I don't know about a cruiser. But... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, some people do wonder while we're on camera, you know, is it going to be a plug-in? It's not an electric vehicle, it's a hybrid. Yes, as the batteries run down, the gas engine kicks on and it restarts and it recharges. Charges. So there's, there's so. no charging port at the back of the police station. Right. Yep. Yep, it's a hybrid car. That's the next step. Total electric vehicle? So Dick can plug in? Or the police? The police. You better get that generator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye, John. Oh, my pleasure. Check when you go home and make sure that TV was turned off. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Get them out of here. Yeah.
Okay. Uh, we need to redo the accountant's expense, right? Right. Okay. Uh, 135-5400. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So I would re wouldn't remember where I put it. I still may not. <laughs> we received a... Um, uh, <coughs> Just, just quickly, we voted, we voted this. Uh, she handed out a new one. Uh, I have the new one. Oh, I was last just week. For what I Correct. Oh. <laughs> for fifteen thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, there's been a change, and I think it's only the one line item. Is that correct? Well, I I well, reduced sorry. two of the other line items to okay. try to make up for a little bit of a difference, um, but our audit fees are going up because um, we will be billed yearly for the cost of what's going to be a single audit that's required with any federal grant uh, where monies are being distributed of 750000 or more. So he's going to do the audit once, but he's going to incrementally bill us for it every year. Plus the audit fees are going up 500 um, next year and 500 the year after that. So it was time. Um, Allie, did you need a? No. I've got it. Thank you. So the select board signed that letter um, yesterday that I, that I wouldn't call it a contract, but yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and it's, a, it's an engagement letter is what it's called. Yeah. So somebody got engaged. Hmm? We're going to. He's worth every penny. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, we're not going to find anyone else. I was going to say, it's, careful. Let's, we don't need another increase next year. <laughs> no, but uh, you're not going to find anybody yeah, else. But he more answers reasonable. all of my phone calls and all of my yes, emails, and, he, and there are lots of them. And he pays attention to he what's does. current, you know, what's happening on the state level. Well, sometimes he gives me better answers than DLS does. I know. I, I, I mean, I think, you know, that's really huge. Mm -hmm. People don't understand when you're trying to figure stuff out, get a clar clarified answer so you can actually figure out what to do is important. Right. Does anyone have any questions on the budget? I do not have any questions and I'll make a motion to uh, recommend 135-5400 for a total of $18,400. Second. Do we need Second Just formality. Do we need question? to say anything about the prior vote? Do we need to rescind it or that, anything? I don't really know, to be honest with you. I don't think um, we, we haven't in the past, but I don't know what, what you know, if you want to follow Robert's a, rules or. You just say it's an amended vote. Okay. This is, you know, you're re voting, so it's yeah, an amended. I think that's probably. <clears throat> so, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Buzz unanimous, right? Okay. Next item. The next Dick, the Dickinson next thing trust. is yeah, just the Dickinson Trust money and that's that's in your, your summary sheet. Mm -hmm. It's on page four. What it is is that's the interest from the Dickinson Trust that we're allowed to spend in fiscal twenty one. So Barbara came up with that number for us, and it split 85% to the Tilton Library and 15% to the Frontier Library. So it's just it's an article every year that we have to appropriate that money. And this year it's $1,712. So could I, well, anybody have questions? If there are no questions, could I have an article to recommend, or can I have a... We'll make a motion to uh, recommend or approve the 1712 for the Dickinson Library Trust. I'll second it. Does everybody understand this article? Okay. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Voted 5 0 0. Next item select board salary. Yeah, I, I think, Carolyn, you're willing to speak to the select board um, stuff. Trevor was going to try to get back here in time, but... Oh, yeah, no, I, I told him that I would cover it. I, I don't have 
Um, I only have the staff sheets. There's, there's no change to this. this no, is the same no. budget that we've had. Yeah, I was going to say, so that one's already in there. Board. Your select board oh, salaries oh, are in I'm there sorry. already. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to say I don't have Because I had one. printed those previously. <laughs> okay. I, um, there's no change. Oh, yes, here it is. Sorry, so, Brenda. So that's 122-5100. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. So that's, that's no change. That's still at 16000 a bargain <laughs> it is a bargain guys i put in more than 30 <laughs> hours a week usually let's not get carried away this is this is this is, this is the finance committee slush fund. i know we need I... some money we'll go grab some money here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. that'll help a lot <laughs> make a motion to approve select board salaries count 122 5100 for sixteen thousand dollars Moved. Do we have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries 5-0-0. Next item is uh, the select board, select staff board administrator, salaries. or just select board staff salaries. Which is the very next uh, budget. And uh, like I said, I thought I might have missed giving those budgets to somebody tonight. So tell me if you don't have it. Um, what this is, is obviously we're understaffed. We don't have an executive assistant. We asked for more money, so we had flexibility in hiring someone, but we don't know who we're going to hire and how much we're going to spend. So we're asking to remain at the 230-44, which includes the additional money that was appropriated at the special town meeting. Questions? Do we we had money set aside, correct? For that position? Yes. Do we remember how much that was off I don't remember off the top of my head here. Um, do you know Brenda how much Well I, we haven't spent any this whole year. Yeah, I was so gonna say I don't I don't know nothing. that I mean it's zero right now. Didn't we spend some on uh, Mike. They hired a guy briefly. Oh yes, that's right. Assistant. Mike was here for a few weeks. And, I, and weeks. I, I don't remember what he was hired at, but I thought it was. We had to this, ask the this extra amount, the amount that's in this budget. I'm yes. I'm pretty sure it was the amount that they had agreed that's to. That's uh, it. Uh, gave us the incentive, or we had to go to special town meeting for additional money to cover him, and then he only lasted. I don't even think he lasted a month. Do you remember how long he was here? Was it a month? There, there, there was money in the budget because we had an open. We, position. we had voted more into the budget for it, yes. So the fifty-six six ninety-seven last year was what was. That was what was budgeted for the position, and we for added. a full year. And when you hired him in, you hired him in at that rate. I'm at just trying to understand what no, we just hired him in at, at seventy. At seventy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously, uh, there's concern that this still might not be enough for whoever we hire. But um, so there, was there a grade and a step increase in this to get it to the 70 for this year? The, it's it's off the chart. It's yes, not it's off the, the chart. chart. It's not even <laughs> in the chart. Well, it it is. It, okay. If you were to go to a grade five, step nine. Mm -hmm. I think you end up being close to what this is, maybe a little more or a little less. I can't remember. But I think the intent is that it would be a separate contract, and therefore it wouldn't be on the compensation plan. It wouldn't be on the compensation plan. Okay. No, just like our town. So that's, is that something new and different then for us as well, far as? Well, that's the market. It, no. is, it is new and different. We've all, that position has always been uh, a great position. And a great, and in fact, most of the time it was a grade four, uh, and I'm not sure when it was moved to a grade five. Well, a grade grade four would have been the executive assistant. We're talking That's now right. an assistant town administrator. Yes. So I think those are two different positions. And question is, do we really need uh, what? What is the what's the difference? What does this person do? Well, I, I hesitate to answer because we've 
been back and forth, and, and we don't have our town administrator with us mm -hmm. um, on board right now to be able to describe the workload and um, how she feels she needs this person to do the job. We clearly, clearly have a need. We are seriously understaffed, and we have, I don't know, a list of 24 projects at least that are going on yeah, right I, now. My, my question is, do we need this uh, administrative assistant, or do we need an assistant town administrator? And, I think we're calling it an assistant town administrator. Uh, yeah, I, yes. Okay. The question is, do we, and, and I just haven't had heard that discussion. I'd, I'd really like to. Uh, well, that we, like had to that, this, we had that discussion when we, had, we were trying to figure out what to do you know, how, how do we cover this position? And we were trying to um, hire Mike We did that, but that was, we jumped onto that thing just without any discussion. So. Well, why don't you, can I just speak to this? Sure, thing? sure. Because I was involved in the, you know, position description. And so I think one of the reasons the uh, envisioning of the assistant came out of the idea that you had a lot more, the executive assistant was doing, uh, you know, the administrative support in the office and you had the administrative assistant, but um, you have a level of projects and also um, there had been discussion for a couple of years about the planning and development aspect, the planning and economic development and land use planning issues that had gone on in the town. So when the, um, at some point, I mean, there's been a, opening in the office for quite some time and last year um, the administrative assistant and um, myself and I think Mike actually may have been on board at the time but we re-looked at the job descriptions to kind of reassess the work and make sure that everything fell mm -hmm. uh, to where it needed to be so that's so I feel confident that that we did do that in the moment that we had that level of staffing and felt that it would be ideal and mostly you need, I feel, a different level than the executive assistant just in the, the management of the level of projects and administrative initiatives that the town um, is, is looking to undertake. And so you need more than just a, a, like sort of administrative um, support. You need somebody that can take on a little bit more of those projects and stuff. And then your town administrator needs to focus on your administrative initiatives, like your uh, personnel policies need to be re redone. Um, you know, you're, we've been talking about the capital planning well, process. I, I was going to ask, has this been reviewed by the personnel committee? The assistant town administrator job, I believe, was taken to uh, or was, was that yeah, it was way, way back year? in the fall? Yeah, it was, it's been at least a year, I think, or it's been a while since it got taken. No, we, I we believe. it never went there, I don't know. Oh, okay. I said, I don't know. Oh, I think it went to the old one. Yeah, no, I think it's it, been over, it, we went not to the, to the new one, we didn't correct. Have, we didn't have the position. That was one that was created when, when we hired Mike. That was in the summer. No, was, that's not a, correct, because we hired, I believe we hired somebody else. We yeah, hired we um, Connor Robichard when Wendy yes. was there. He was not the administrative, he, he, he was. He, he was, was the, the assistant, assistant town, town administrator. administrator. Yes, he was, and his intent, the intent was to, for him to do a lot of planning and land use. We still haven't, you know, sort of filled that area of that planning piece. So that was the piece, and, and yes, that had been the, the idea the all The reason along. why it's problematic is because you're asking persons to almost have the skill level of a town administrator. Mm -hmm. And that's why the salary had been bumped up because you were really requiring that skill level almost. Right. But we also have a huge demand for it and that's one of the reasons I, that I we're just- I was just gonna ask that we, I'd like to see this go to the personnel committee. I, not that I really wanna take the, you know, I'm on the personnel committee. I really don't wanna review this thing. I'd like somebody else to do it, but you know, I'm there so. And then I'll take it up. Then we can yeah. take it up it, afterwards if you don't right. object. To it, it had been graded, and I think the issue was when, when the board hired uh, Mike, they, they did uh, change the step. Um, you know, that was the thing. Because we, we lost adjusted. Connor partly because we, we, did we, couldn't, we couldn't offer him enough money. I think I go along with Skip. I'd like to, myself personally, I'd like to put this on hold till we get additional information. And I'm not saying that we don't need this position. I would just like to get more more information on it, have it more clearly defined, uh, you know, before I'm asked to vote on this. And as I said, I'm not opposed. I just, I would just. 
prefer. That's fine. We can get the job description. Just prefer more information. I'm only one the person. Job, if we, the we have the, jo wants the jobs to vote posted, it. so the job descriptions I'm pretty sure on the website. That's fine. That's but fine. we've yeah, because the position's actually been posted and where we have yeah. applications in right now. So. Just just for the record, I don't feel like I need more information. This feels like a very similar discussion we had in September. So uh, yeah, just I, I'm happy if the if the rest of the committee would like to wait for a personnel committee review, but that's not what I need for my membership. So you want to make a motion to actually table? I have another question. Yeah, is there another question? Yeah. Um, the admin assistant part time, the twelve thousand two ninety four, is that's a new position? It, it is. Is that the one over here? No. no. Um, do you want to speak to that? Or no, go ahead. go ahead. So, so it's confusing. Somebody needs to support Board of Health, and and right now, um, I think I think it's been hard for Pat to keep up with that. And we were Trevor and I were actually talking this afternoon about this position maybe being the person to take the minutes at your select board meetings because right now we don't have anybody to do that. Um, so it's very part-time. It's, I think, budgeted like 12 hours, a little more than 12 hours a week. Whether, whether it's, it is a position that actually happens or not, once the transition happens, Trevor felt that it was important to get it into the budget so that the flexibility was there if the need was determined. What, what we're trying to do is pull away some of the jobs that Pat has been doing. Like if Kevin has an, you know, any clerical support, then Pat doesn't need to do that kind of work. But if Brenda needs data entry, then we're going to move some of those hours over there or something. The, the problem is we have to define, once we get fully staffed, Pat's job is going to be a little bit different. And so that will affect everybody else too. So it, it's really hard um, to tell you exactly what's going to happen until we get staff and we find out what, how our staff, um, you know, what, what qualifications and what abilities they have. I mean, we're hoping that we're going to get someone that's really, <coughs> truly qualified as an uh, assistant town administrator. And then It'd be no. really nice to have two people in that office yeah. full time and, and really it's just like get some stability. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have one more question going back to the assistant town administrator here. If, if that position was on the salary scale previously and we're pulling that out of the salary scale, what's the well, impact? I, what's the we impact? never actually put that into the salary scale. It wasn't pulled out. Because this, it wasn't an assistant town administrator. It was a. I think I think it, it was. Is. It was the executive assistant. Right. It was. It was. It was. Well, it's got great. It's got great step here. I, I'm just wondering if, if and what, the impact will be on the other town employees. If there will be any. You know, if I was on a salary schedule and this position was probably in comparison to the salary schedule. I think you have to look, the reality out. is you have to look at what's available on the market. Right. There are no town accounts, right. none right. available. So we have to watch out that Brenda doesn't get Right, poached. no, I understand, <laughs> I, under, I understand the market. <laughs> I understand the market. There, there, is, yes. there right. is health, no health agents. Right. I'm just, I'm just concerned no about inspectors. policy and so on and so forth. And, and like I say, I'm not saying I'm opposed this by any stretch of the imagination because that's not the case. I'm, I'm just looking to make sure yeah. that what we do here doesn't come back to bite us and have impact. Sure. I, I understand on, totally. On other, and that's the purpose of, of actually the whole review of the compensation schedule because you should be looking at what are the job, you know, right. what are the the current market conditions is this job what's this job worth right. well that's why i mentioned the personnel committee too so that's all you, so, i was going to say before so the, you, i want to comment on the what's the job worth the job is worth what the 
uh, job description when it's been evaluated says it's worth, not something else. Well, look, that's the, that's the policy that we followed in town for. God knows how many years, and, and I, you know, and I but really skip object the, the to hiring, changing things. Yes, but the fact is you're not going to get a building inspector at our old rates. You have to be, there just are no building inspectors. You know, there's no health agents. There's no accountants. There just is not stuff. I mean, people are, are, are retiring, and there's nobody coming into those jobs. So you're, you, by default, you're paying more than ever before. I think it speaks to the need for a, a new compensation plan. But what I wanted to say was that fiscal, the fiscal 20 compensation plan that was voted by the town had the assistant town administrator in it. Because that we did go on, through. On grade five. Right. We did go through. Um, but. So what's the top grade? So, yeah, the assistant town administrator or whatever you want to call it, that was that was an upgrade from the executive assistant that was a grade four. And we raised that, and I think that was the position that we put, I've forgotten the fellow's name, Connor. Uh, so. Okay, so what's the top possible grade that's on there? Hmm? What's the top grade that's on there? Okay. Oh. Six grade six is the top grade. Grade six. Those are the, so those are the positions that are covered by each one of the grades. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so, I've got some question about the uh, part-time administrative assistant, but. Uh, other than to say, you know, get real <coughs> concerns about the additional staff over the past five years. We've added staff like not, not large amounts, but a little here, a little there. Uh, we've taken the position that's in the inspector's office. We've raised that from a 20 hour a week position to a 40 hour a week position. And we're going to add someone else to do. So it basically comes up to 50 hours. We were doing it with 19 hours a week, and now we need 50 hours a week. What, when, I, when I came on board, we had a town administrator, an executive assistant, and an administrative assistant that were all full-time in this office, and we had a part-time person who was also in there as an assistant. So we had four people in that office. Yes, three full-time, one part-time. Yeah. Now we have, and we need that second full-time person, and the question is, does it need to be an assistant town administrator or the executive assistant? So that's the town administrator and that other position, whatever we end up calling it. So that's two full-time. Pat, that's three. Uh, Sue, that's four. And now another part-time, that's four full-time and a part-time, as opposed to three full-time and a part-time. But the town population 10 years ago was 5,000 people. The town population today is 5,000 people. The people who are paying taxes, 5,000 people. 5,000 people. I just want to mention you, the other piece that you, you didn't, uh, is the planning services. You did lose that piece. So part of raising up this. We did not have anyone doing that. Well, you did, but I'm not sure how you were Ooh. funding it. You had, you had a professional planner from the COG that you had on contract for about 15 years. I don't know how you were paying that person. I don't know where the budget is. Some, but I'm saying you had that person doing all of that work in the planning and land use area that you don't have. You didn't have that person on staff, but they worked here for about 10. Yeah. It was about 10, 15, 15,000 dollars a year. Yeah, it, it, it was. was a small. It was right, but and it was contracted. Some of it was coming out of the appropriation, the planning board appropriation line item, mm -hmm. and some of it was coming right. out of the revolving fund, which has been depleted to basically nothing. Right, but that's the work um, that that some of the missing. Well, that was the work that we were hoping pieces. Connor was going to do. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. And that's that, some of the missing right. missing work. And we're hoping this new person when our town administrator starts, they hire someone, would be able to take on that too. Rather than 
you know, putting it out of house because I think we have we have constant little stuff and some big stuff that that is easier handled if we're right here, and it would be for the same amount of money, kind of thing. But you're, there has been substantial increase in staffing between those two offices. If you a half a position, we had in the inspector's office one full-time inspector and a part-time clerical assistant. Now we've got one full-time inspector, a full-time clerical assistant, and a part-time health agent. So don't tell me that there hasn't been substantial. That's substantial. And now in this office where you had essentially three full-time people, you're talking about the three full-time people and now a part-time person as well. I don't, uh, that, that, that's just not, that is an increase. And I mean, I, if, I appreciate if, the discussion you, about whether we need it or not. If, That's not if a problem. you, well, I, I mean, again, we can put it out to bid and have the FERCOG do work for us, but we are trying to do stuff in house. So, hour wise, it is not an increase. But I, I don't know. It depends. I'm, it's hard to argue until we have people in place. We might not be able to find the people to do the job, so then we'll come back with some adjustment. And I, so I'm perfectly okay if you want to sit on this for a while, but it's really hard when the personnel committee can't get a quorum together to meet to discuss Excuse this. Me? In. I thought I thought you couldn't meet on Monday because you had no quorum. No. Oh. We we didn't meet on Monday because we didn't have any documents to work from. Oh. Well. Wow. Anyway, it's one of those things that keeps going around. And around. Mm -hmm. No, I, look, I don't, I don't object. And even if I disagree with you, there's no, there's no, you know. We're, we're just, we're before. just trying to be more efficient, more effective, and get more done, and have, and not miss opportunities. It's just very, very hard the way we're staffed right now. That, that I will agree with. Uh, and I, you know, that full-time position there, whatever we end up doing. It's, okay. ju it's just costing us the way we're operating now. Mm -hmm. I wonder. We only I had one person in that position for a long time. It's a really tough job. It, it, it's, yeah. That's true. Uh, Towns of comparable size. I wonder how they're staffed. I'd be interested to know, and maybe we may never know, but I mean, I don't know what's comparable around here, but it would be interesting to find out. So, anyways, <laughs> I would like to put this on hold for, you know, <clears throat> I'm certainly not suggesting we put it on hold and then ignore it. I'd like the personnel uh, committee to take a look at it, uh, the jobs, the job description. Maybe we can convince somebody other than me on the personnel committee to to do a little investigating with uh, with the help of. So. It, it, it's fine. It, it, we so have we to do something. And it's important yeah. that we keep moving ahead on this. Because there's no question we're, we're losing opportunities and we're not being efficient. I'll just make a motion to table this so uh, to a later date. Not to forget it, but just to a later date so we can collect the information, answer some questions that some of the people that's have. Absolutely fine. I know it's not everybody, but you know that's, that's fine too. So the motion's out there, just a table Second. for a further day. Any other discussion? All those in favor of putting it on the table until you know, some later point in time? The personnel Aye. committee has to Aye. Aye. Yeah. Opposed? Um, four, zero, 410. Could you just make sure that Diana knows what materials you're looking for so that? Hmm? The next uh, budget is the very next one, select board admin expense. 122,5400, same, same as no change from last year. Right, no. Any 
Discussion? Yes. We've been consistently under budget. Maybe we should budget less and save the taxpayers a couple of bucks? I, I think the reason it's budgeted uh, the way it is, John, is, is they hope that every year all of the select board members and the town administrator will go to the MMA. That's really the biggest cost in here. And not everybody goes every year. It's kind of like what the assessors do. They budget for more and then just in case all of them go. We certainly hope that you know, people make the effort. What's, there, what's I mean, a rough estimate of the cost on a per person basis? Well, our hotel rooms are about $800. So if you had a couple hundred, you'd call it $1,000 a person, you get four people, that would be $4,000 a month. Yeah. But, I mean, there are other things. We try to go to other regional mm -hmm. meetings. And um, I mean, I don't like, like the Franklin Select Board Association. You go to some of yeah, and there's so. Yeah, and there's, you know, trainings and stuff. I mean, Whatever we don't spend goes back to free cash. It, 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 we, we haven't really increased it. It hasn't been increased for years, but on the other hand, if all of us are participating and we, and we have, we would want our new assistant administrator to go to the, some of these meetings as well. Because again, it's a higher caliber position. You're not, it's not clerical. We're trying to get this person to do projects and you know, handle things. So there are going to be meetings that this person would go by themselves, not mm -hmm. the select board. Or, mm -hmm. you know, our town administrator going to a meeting on whatever. But, yeah. but it would be something that would benefit us as a town, and it would be some opportunity that um, we would want to pursue that would save us some money or bring us some money. So, I mean, it's very hard to to say, okay, we can down, you know, downsize it for 500 and then we've overspent it. Right. Potentially, if we have a full group of people. We haven't had a full no, group you of answer, people. No, you answered my question. Okay. I'm good. I, I would recommend, uh, or make a motion to recommend the account 122-5400 for the $11,150. Second. Let's move, seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Five zero zero. Okay. So the next one is the IT hardware account, and that's one fifty five dash fifty four hundred. We're passing over the legal expense budget because um, we're going to work on that. Right. Yeah, that, that's not on the sheet. Right. But it would have been one of the select board budgets. We're just not sure if the flat fee is to our advantage or not, so we want to review it. Nothing's been spent through December. Right. You haven't built this? No, this is for hardware, software. Oh, okay, IT. Okay. Um, we're anticipating that my... my uh, computer is going to crash, but we're just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> it's That's the, the video card is going. I, it goes black about eight Not times a day. It's still computing. You just I can't think see that's it. a little scary. Yeah. Well, it's the video card in the computer for the for you, You've yeah. convinced us. Yeah. So these and, days, and then you, we these have days some, you can go up to, uh, to BJ's and pick up a Nice little 32-inch screen for about 250 bucks. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, so um, I think there's some upgrades to Windows 10 that need to be in here also for this year. Mm. Is that correct? And what line is this? Here? This is the IT hardware budget. Yeah, IT hardware. So I guess it just I had made a note. So we had 6,000. Um, we have done. Um, some upgrading of computers currently, and then we have a few more in this fiscal year, FY20. Um, but Kevin earlier today was just saying that Public Works is going to need computers, and um, there's certainly an interest in, uh, they're, getting, they're getting a work order system through Maya, through their Maya grant, and they'd like to have some tough books to use that system. And um, the building commissioner has also been so I guess that's the question I have for the for you all. Is this the IT uh, maintenance uh, or IT hardware 
is going to be for like all of the town departments, I guess. Um, with, the, so. with the exception of the police department. Right. Well, some departments had, I mean, I know mm -hmm. Sue okay. Antonellis, I think, in the rec department budget, she had put some, so put she, some money. So. She had money in her revolving fund, so she used that for her new computer that mm -hmm. she had to get. Yeah, so some, some folks have had some money in their budgets and have put it in, but for the most part, we are putting the, all the town hardware. Mm -hmm. So the IT hardware budget here, as Skip said, covers everything, everybody except basically the police department. Correct. And it is hardware only, it's not? Yeah. What, it, well, it's, what about servers? It's, it's, it, okay, it, it doesn't also, it also does not include the senior center because that's a tri-town operation. Right. Okay. And it doesn't include the EMS. Skips. Yeah. 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 Um, but I guess I would say it is hardware it's not, it's not software or subscriptions or apps or anything, but it would be, um, you know, there would be money in there, like it's the whole project. We don't pay for the computer out of there and then pay for the installation, you know, out of the other account. We've just been paying. You know, basically they get the computer and they hook it up to our system and that takes like an hour or two and we take it all out. But I mean, it does, it includes, it includes, I don't know how many servers we have in here. We have one actual physical server and one virtual server. Virtual like, server. Yeah, so it's not a server. It's not an actual server, but it's it's set up like a server runs uh, through a virtual network of software. Okay. It's not an actual physical computer. Yeah, so. that just wasn't required <laughs> too. So we talked about that with capital improvement planning earlier. How we need to replace that network. But that's that's this budget that we're talking about. In FY twenty one, we've already done. We did our. We had a grant, and we did in the last couple of years of the upgrades to the town mm -hmm. domain server infrastructure that created mm -hmm. cyber security. Um, you know, we followed cyber security initiatives and tried to make the, um, the uh, networks. So but this is this is the budget that the server and all of the hardware comes out of. There isn't another budget someplace that. Correct. Okay. That's correct. It's it's hard to say because we have been pushing departments to be to take money, you know, to be accountable for their expenses. It, no, so, I, you it, know, but this if we get tough books for the highway department, it's brand new, so it makes sense that it comes out of a central fund, and then they if they trash them or need to replace them, then it's part of their budget, mm -hmm. kind of thing. This is generally the thinking on this so it's hard I mean I you know. no, it's, I, just, I would I really would like to have it sitting in one budget now I understand we've got the police department over there with so they're not trying to move theirs but but it is also important to have people be accountable for their budgets so it, it when when it's easy yeah. to separate it makes sense to keep it separate so you have a clearer picture of what each budget is each so department's. where is where is that separated? Uh, does the highway department have their own server down there? I don't know. They, they, don't, they, don't. they do they not. Don't have, they don't have a network. They just have individual computers. And that it, there's no net, they're not hooked into this. No, as of yet, our new server has the capacity done through a VPN system to connect the whole town. So we're not talking about any any servers at okay. any other locations. This would just be the the computers. The, they need to operate there. Okay. And we're supposed to be, that's why we have multiple grants out, because mm -hmm. we're supposed to be doing more um, upgrading and yeah, it will no, be paid for by grants. It, it, nice. makes, it, makes, sen it makes sense now. How about the assessors? Well, the assessors, we've been working with them too. I think she has a little bit in her budget as well to do an upgrade, but that's because they have to work with us, but we're also, we, we, through the uh, server upgrade, the software that Patriot is using also has to be upgraded. So that's in their budget because that's like a Patriot. So they have there's a server that they use. Yes, okay. exactly. In addition yeah, to the virtual the, server, they yeah. have to upgrade. Correct. Yes. I just wanted to say for the hardware part, the other thing I think about funding it out of one budget and having it be an administrative sort of budget is that these are town computers and they should be. Know, sort of kept track of and, and, and accounted for by the town, not necessarily by the department. So. No, one of the concerns that I had was that 
we apparently got to the point where everyone had operating systems that were slightly different, and it was like that just that makes no sense. It, it doesn't and to me. And the buying power, I think, too, like with the tough books, like you know, if Kevin's going to buy some, and these guys mm -hmm. are going to buy some, we should use that cooperative buying power to. to I was going to bring that up. Just makes sense. When and we want people to check like and make sure that they all have the same standards right, because compatible. people are not focused right. on the same thing. So. Right. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure they're compatible and right. 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 and you can usually get a better they're price. Safe on our network. Right. And they add them onto our network and we need to know that they're safe exactly. with all the stuff on it. Right, yeah. And you usually do get a better price when you can, you know, volume. Again, not that we're buying huge volume, but it still usually helps price wise. Okay. okay. And if if this if the number here if we exceed this, we can always dip into the reserve fund. Uh, so if we had to buy ten screens instead of five mm -hmm. any further questions? Could have a motion? I'll make a motion to recommend the IT hardware. 155 5400 at $6,000. Second. Moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 500. Zero, zero. So the next budget is contracted services. That's 159 5410. Oh, that's right. Oh. No, we're not. We're not interacting. You're ta talking. Oh, no, that's to right. Him. Stop talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't be up here. You probably shouldn't be. No, you're probably right. But I'll just look and listen. <laughs> um, Diana and I went through this this uh, budget. Um, she did quite a bit of work on it to make sure that it was accurate. I took out the copiers that now are in the police budget and in the um, highway budget. And I also took out the Comcast, uh, the, the telephone costs that, well, that came out of the town office expense budgets, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, a couple of numbers on here that we're not real sure of, but um, didn't have anything better to go by, and that would be the um, Assessors maps online and the access GIS. I also increased the consultant line from six thousand to seventy five hundred because um, I mean we've uh, the MVP program has had two or three rounds per year, so we have we have to front the um, Chris Curtis's money and then we get it back under the MVP once we get the grant. So. We do have a separate line for that, but we just weren't sure. I think the 35. The 35 oh, you're right. You, you put that consult. in for like what if we? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So no, that, right. but just in case there was another one that came up, I think. Yeah, I just. Oh, you know what? You're right. We should have added it to the MVP. But we. we I, no, no, no. We're back to the same discussion. Right. We didn't know if there was another opportunity for another grant coming along, if you put it in the general consulting line, then you could pull it out of the general consulting line, no matter what the opportunity was. Mm -hmm. And But if you put it in the MVP program, we were locked and into the like MVP, MVP program. Mm -hmm. So that was and the they're, thinking. They're sorry. Looking oh. at, they're looking at, uh, I okay. just came, I'm sorry, I just came from the, um, the FERCOG council meeting and they had a whole um, discussion on culverts and mapping. Um, they showed the program. They did two. The Ashfield's got part of the town done. Irving, I think, is the other town. Um, incredible. The photo of every, you know, drainage ditch and culvert condition of it, um, and just kind of color coded what condition it is. And they've used uh, MVP uh, for for some of that, and uh, community compact for some of that, and, and the DPLA. I think everybody's asking for what we ask for, and there's not enough money to go around. So there are other options to use that for, but MVP might be one of them if we have another opportunity to write a grant. Um, well, we have that um, that grant, the uh, infrastructure um, assessment grant that 
for, it's in July or August that um, time bond's going to do mm -hmm. for us, yeah. and that I don't I, I think he can do it for like thirty five hundred dollars. So, um, yeah. but potentially that's access of a hundred thousand dollars or more to do our assessment. You know, the actual engineering and designing of any of our inventoried already inventoried. Uh, which was hopefully what we yeah, are getting from did, under our tech. They do a good job with that. I mean, they took a photo, they give you the condition. I mean, it's just state standards. It's not like a full engineering of what right. we take to replace. So then we were going to go the next step in the July or August. I think I can't remember when the deadline is. It's sometime this summer. So we're hoping to move forward on the... For the time bomb one? For, no, or for the FERCOG one. Oh, yeah. And then go into the right into the assessment. Mm -hmm. Anyway... I just felt if we had a few, a little bit more money in the uh, consultants, it would be to our advantage and that we would spend the money. And if I ran into problems, I would come back to the finance committee for, you know, a reserve transfer because obviously this is, we've got to take advantage of, you know, the possibility of getting grant money to, for our culverts. Mm -hmm. the, the question on the FCAT uh, funding. Mm -hmm. Now, we do receive some funds from Comcast, correct? How mm -hmm. much do we receive? Well, it's usually, um, it's over 100000 Okay. I, I believe. The problem is, we're, sure, but we're, it's a year-to-year -year thing because mm -hmm. of, you know, what they're doing on the federal yeah, level. But we, yeah. could, we could anticipate getting the $80,000 back from Oh, we do, always do. Okay. That's this point. is just yes. a transfer. No. Yeah. You know, we have to we have to carry it on our books. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's not necessarily a transfer. It's no, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, I see, what, I see what you're getting at, Carol. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. we 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 bring in what we get in fees, and you give, and then back we to have to, FCAT. and then FCAT has to be listed as an mm -hmm. expense. Mm -hmm. Yep. We we are hold we hold back a little bit for our own stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Speaking of which, just while we're on that subject, is that Chris Collins had told me that he did get um, a sound engineer in, has a quote, and I think he certainly has the money in last year's money to redo the sound in here so that residents can get a better sound in a meeting and there's not this feedback and all that. So I think I didn't, I haven't seen the quote, but I think everything's ready to go. It'd be interesting to have him present that to us. And, while we're talking and about it. We're not, so you, do you know how much it is? I, I don't remember. I, okay, but we might have to go through, through capital for that. And this 15, is? 15,000 or something maybe? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, we're gonna have to no, go through capital like on six, that. Oh, what, what as soon as you find out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it to you guys. Yeah, right, think, please, so. because. We'll yeah, he's had it for. Right. You know, we've been beating on him about for tonight, and it's like we're well, the, the budget, off, so. He already has a budget for that. Yeah, he has yeah. the money already, but it'd be good to get on the plan yeah. so right, people just knew, to have it on, yeah, right, documented. So we can include it in the five-year plan. Yep. Yep. Is obviously by the bylaw language are supposed to be should have been on there. Right. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realize that we had the quote. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, he may still be re. I was going to say, I think, he I think he showed it to me a month or two ago. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't heard Could from somebody since. fill out a, just a request, a sure. CIPC yes. request, yeah. and yep. throw it in my we'll mailbox? I'm we'll, sorry, I didn't realize it was We'll try to Jeff. address it Tuesday night. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll get a hold of him and see what's going on. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know Appreciate that. that. No, that's just stuff that I, I can't I mean, why, why are we... I, it, I don't it's know. I'm just saying that it was... It has to go... It's money. We have to release the money. It's in our account. No. no, no, it's our it's it's our money. We pay for it. Well, we might well we might end up reimbursing FCAT for it, because they generally will buy it ahead of time and then we reimburse them for it. Well, it's still way, on our it's, premises. It's, it's our it's money. Still our, yeah. It's our money. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so okay. we have to okay it. Any questions? Yeah, the accounting financial software fifty four thousand. That's maybe it is what it is, but that's outrageous. Actually, it's pretty good. That's tough, right? You're, you're talking so? over, over 200000 at least for some of the better programs. Yeah, but this is, we have the program now, so you're talking <clears throat> updates, they, right? They host it. They, they, yeah, it's hosted in their, on their site. It's, 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 it's this, continually updated. This includes their service. You know, Correct. we call them on a regular basis for things, yes. 
We lease the software, right? Yeah. Okay. And this is the lease. Pardon? This, this is the lease cost. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. What would happen if we bought it? I don't know that that's They'd even an option with that. Thousand dollars to upgrade it every year. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have all that maintenance of dealing with the program. I have no idea. This is part of the overhead for, um, you know, our other accounts like the skims and and all that. Direct costs. Yeah, our indirect costs. You'd have to you'd have to check into that. Uh, my limited awareness is that sometimes they will include a certain number of years or a certain number of updates. Other other contracts when you do that <coughs> as far as a purchase. Uh, not a contract, but purchase. Uh, you purchase it, and then you pay for any additional changes over mm -hmm. the years or updates right. as they as they come out. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you'd really have to research and take a look at. Yeah. It would really be nice, and we're not going to get it done tonight, if the state would get mm -hmm. their end together and develop their own software oh, package. Oh, no kidding. Uh, for that, 351 that work, municipalities, yeah. And every town, 351 of us, mm -hmm. all use the same. Use the same. Use, could use yeah. the same software. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was discussed with school systems too, <coughs> with the state. Yep. I know. Never happened. No. <laughs> any further? Any other? Wishful room? thinking. <laughs> yes, it is wishful thinking. Um, sure. I'll just ask. The broadband connection went up a lot. Is that Yes, so, so the Excuse me. Comcast now has our telephone system. We used to pay for the telephones through Verizon out of our town office expense budget, which we'll get to in a few minutes. Oh, okay. Um, so so now shifting it's, from it's all here. Okay. Yeah. And what's the landfill solar services energy consulting that? Uh, that's Beth Greenblatt. Uh, maybe you, and she, well, somebody you probably can speak. speak. We have been trying for years literally years to get a land solar on our landfill and this is we are just finishing up and this is the tail end of the what we think service yeah what we think will be again. to finish the co whole contract we're hoping to get this online soon and the sewer oh, utility building that. that's money that comes oh, in yeah so this so the software yeah, includes the utility solar billing solar which is building. used solely by the oh. sewer so that goes so directly into the sewer budget. I'm just showing it as a as a cost and then a and a an amount coming out. Thank you. Any other questions? I move we approve contracted services one fifty nine fifty four ten for two hundred eight thousand one hundred fifty four dollars. I'll second. So what? See, do I hit the wrong one here? I've got 200, 206,000. No, it was a new sheet went out tonight. A new yep. sheet came out tonight. Oh. Yep, that was the 1,500 that they added to consultants that Carolyn we mentioned. So, yeah, someplace along the way, I'm going to need a new sheet. It's 208,154. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you have all the other ones, though. What's that? Um, yeah, what do you mean? Okay. Yeah. Why don't you take? Oh, we don't need all those because you have. We just yeah, we just need one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so contracted services is. Uh, we have a motion. Is there a second? Yes. Mm -hmm. I seconded. It's moved, seconded for 208,154. Correct. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 500. Okay. All right, so the next budget is 192 5430, and that's the town office expense. Oh, 
so you you see the second line item says telephone and it has nothing in there for fiscal 21 that's because it's now all in contracted services and in the police budget mm -hmm. You'll see a new line on the bottom, uh, which is called meeting room decor. <laughs> <laughs> so really what that is, is um, there will be money in this budget, um, and we may not need to use this, but we, we want to get ourselves and all of you um, chairs and make this look a little more presentable and, and actually have a Massachusetts flag here. You know, so there's a couple of things that make our um, seal. seal a little bit bigger. And, and add some photos and stuff just to kind of get a new skirt for here. We may have enough in this budget because the telephone money went over in this year, mm -hmm. but whatever we decided, we'd kind of bring that forward and say, this is our plan, has everybody on board with that kind of thing. I don't think we'd go ahead and just buy stuff without talking about it, but, and we, so it may not be needed uh, for next year, but we just want to make ourselves a little more We're really sick here. of using broken chairs. And you know, two by fours and stuff to hold up our things. I just really, it's time. You know, nothing extravagant. We have everybody look at it first. There, there is the jail does this kind of stuff where they they could make things. It, the problem is, you know, normally you come into a town hall and there's a permanent place and a permanent bench. And but this room we use for voting, and, and Barb's got to be able to move everything and rearrange everything. So it's got to be mobile. Um, so we just. That's kind of where we're at. It's been yeah. a pet peeve of mine little since little I got here. Little TLC. Here. Little TLC. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any, uh, any questions? Ahead. Just very quickly, uh, Franklin Tech, the tech school also. Yes. For some of the stuff Love that to have you them. mentioned. They, exactly. That might be an option also. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a great See, idea. whoever can do it first. Right. First there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean we're, we're really build not. some chairs for us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Take anything, really. That's All right. bad. I'll make a motion for town office expense count number 192-5430 for a total of 13,500. 13, Second. Moved. Seconded. Any, uh, any other comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero zero. Last item, general insurance. Yeah, 196-5400. It should be your last page in that tab. Oh, very next, next item. Just briefly tell us what the general insurance covers. Mm -hmm. It's li liability insurance, building insurance. Police department, DPW, yeah. um, and just our But our it's overall. building and liability. Yeah. So it's the... Professional liability, buildings, yeah. vehicle fleet, all the equipment, all the contents of all the buildings. Mm -hmm. And, and not the schools, though. No, no. no. The, there, there is the, the uh, elementary it, school it, building. It, it does cover it does insurance cover for the school, but the okay. school reimburses us, us for that. Um, and then any um, you, uh, vehicle costs for scams is put in their budget. For the wastewater treatment plant, there's certain costs that get put in theirs. Okay. And we looked at this today and. Um, felt comfortable bringing it down to 5500 because of uh, 55,000 because the you know we we go to the my things we got uh, some of the re got. you know uh, you know the 5500 that we didn't want to decrease in our mm -hmm. meeting budget right. well we get that back in by going to the MMA we get credits like Trevor and I went to three breakout sessions each mm. and get get the maximum credit so we have 15% right off the top of our policy Mm -hmm. And then we do other things like Kevin does safety things. And so through the right. course of the year, we're very, very, we have been very consistent on getting full credits. Mm -hmm. and so far this year, I think we spent about 49000 something like that in that right. range. So I think, you know. We thought we 55000 would cover. We'll certainly cover it. Maybe you could bring it a little lower, but the, we just want to be sure. You can't, I don't think we can budget actually a budget at lower um, the money goes just into free cash because we we aren't guaranteed the credits. Correct. I mean, right. we we get the credits through right. the course of the year. Correct. Right. So, yep. um, so I mean, I, I feel comfortable that yeah. well, I've always proven. made the commitment to go, mm -hmm. and right. Trevor has been consistently yes. always going. Mm -hmm. and, and between the between the two of us, we sit down and decide how we max out our credits. Right. Kevin has consistently always been aware of those credits and done safety mm. trainings and stuff and yep. so I, I think 
you know, we, we generally look at 20% off of the top, um, but those are credits, so I, I, I hesitate to go any lower than the 55,000, mm -hmm. even though we're probably gonna be over budgeting by seven or 8,000 maybe. I, I don't, yeah, I, you I know. Agree. I kind of feel that's pretty, pretty close. Yeah. How much do we charge scams now for insurance? And the waste I'd have to look at the budget. So, so Maya, our insurance company, gives us that breakdown and tells us what what is applicable to wastewater treatment plant, what's applicable to scams. But this year, we brought into the indirect costs the remainder of this to spread out to them as well. Mm. Because so there's a liability mm -hmm. that's never broken out. Right, right. Yep. So you yeah. bumped it The liability is, is truly, mm -hmm. is and, truly and very County, little. Uh, I mean, we're talking like under 100. As well. yeah. right. So we're kind of trying to capture all of our all mm. of our costs and spread them out to everybody. Yeah, because I know in the past, like John Pachurik said the liability we charged in skims didn't mm. seem right. And I can't, with hindsight, I agree with him. I, I didn't, I originally sat with the agent. I remember you looked at that, yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. John, you ago. didn't believe me. Huh? He still you didn't does believe it. me. He still does it. And you <laughs> double checked. And guess no, what? But I, I, I think, I'll bet if you sat down and asked them, what would the liability be without skims, we would get a different number. No, actually it's it's a flat, whether you have, you have emergency, it's because we have a police department, we do not have a fire department. But it doesn't matter. The liability anticipates that you have fire, EMS, and police. Huh. You know, in your general rating. So, um, because we have the fire department, there's it's just a few hundred dollars more to do the scams, or not even a hundred dollars. I think that's what we decided when yeah. we talked to it's the like agent. You're paying for it already. With you the are paying insurance. for it already under public because safety. You have, you have public safety, yeah. and. Obviously, if we're a city and you go, it's based on population. Since we're 5,000, it's just this amount and that's all you pay. If you're a city of, you know, 25,000 and you have all your things, you're going to pay the rates are anticipated to go up. And you also have town departments by then. So, you know, when you get down to the 5,000, not everybody has an EMS or, you know, fire either because we have the districts. I know you don't believe me, John, but I was insurance, and I am certified, and I can I tell you that I analyzed this multiple times to try to get you so, the answer. So can but I Maya's number, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but but Maya's again. number is low, low, low for somebody that's five thousand people. Oh, I'm not. I'm not questioning the amount of paying for insurance. Just who's uh, paying what? Just how much is allocated to scams? Yeah. They, okay. They're paying what the. Well, they're in the. Indirect costs. In the indirect costs. If you're going to keep this argument up, I'm going to send you out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Can I go? <laughs> can I go to the <laughs> uh, 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 Any further questions? Nope. To show my good faith, I'll make a motion to approve general insurance. <laughs> One ninety-six fifty-four hundred. For fifty-five thousand. I'll second that. that. We, that's it. We're we done. sat. We're in done. The, it's, in the it's moved. It's moved yeah. and seconded. All those in favor. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Thanks for not asking okay. for. Five I made the motion. Zero. Let's skip. <laughs> <laughs> Five zero zero. Uh, and that completes uh, the items that we we're going to take up tonight. Um, I believe we're going to try to get Kevin to come in next time. We are? Okay. Well, I'd like to, or uh, the question is when do we meet next? Yeah, when is next time? We didn't have anything, I think, on the, we didn't schedule anything yet, right? No, I, we haven't. Actually, if we could do a couple of, couple of meetings. Schedule what, a couple meetings. Yeah, that would be great. Was um, Monday the the best option as long as it didn't overlap with uh, another committee meeting? It was personnel board of the personnel committee. I think that's what we settled on last time. If but I I can't remember if, you guys. That, if that was right. Monday the third or just like any Monday. Like Mondays in general yeah. were the were the hot date. <laughs> yeah. The hot day of the week for us, I think. Or. Um, What's well, uh, 
depends. <laughs> we've got we've got a Monday coming up. It's a holiday. That's the seventeenth. Yeah. Well, you got February third Monday, February tenth Monday. Mm -hmm. The seventeenth is the holiday. All right. Yeah. Seventeenth is a holiday. And, and you have the twenty fourth. And I won't be here on the tenth, but you don't need me. Okay. So long as you've got all the stuff done. <laughs> So it looks like the oh, third or the 24th. The third is this Monday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's too close. It is? Too close. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yes, yes, two days from now. Mm -hmm. we, that's uh, true. we can't get it posted in time. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. Good point. Good point. Good. To the 10th. So, so is there another day next week that would work for you? Right. Next week, Thursday? Anybody? <laughs> wow. Um, I can do the 6th. Thursday. You I can't, can't make Thursday. Okay. Okay. The rest of you. Fifth? I could do the sixth. Five yeah. or six, you're saying? Sixth is sixth, what we're asking sixth. about. Uh, but yeah. Julie won't I can't do the sixth, but I'm okay. one out of That's seven. Eight. No, Julie can't make it either. It's two out of seven. <laughs> no, How about Bruce five? Out of town, Actually, right? we've got two people that are going to be missing uh, right. in any event. So we can, only, we can afford one more, more only. Right. What's and then there's no point. Wednesday the fifth. <laughs> what's the fifth? What's the what's the? Uh, we're not going to do the third. What? Forget the fourth. Also, how about the tenth or the ninth? Tenth, eleventh. Ninth is a Sunday, so I decline. Okay. The tenth is a Monday, right? <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be gone until until the thirteenth, and then I have a meeting that night at the fire district. So okay. I can't. That whole week's out for me. And if we did have Kevin there, I would like. You there. This is budgets are fairly complicated. Mm -hmm. um, I do get in in the afternoon of the twelfth. If I needed to come in that evening for a meeting, I could do that. What What about the eighteenth? Uh, I can't do Tuesdays. Can you do the eleventh? Um, that's a, that. That's no, a I'm in Boston every Tuesday evening. Okay, that's why I was Sorry. asking. Oh. And every other Wednesday evening. Right. Well, okay, I said I'm coming in the afternoon of the 12th. Would the evening of the 12th work for anybody? I can do the We 12th. have CIPC meeting. <laughs> what time is your CIPC meeting? 5 o'clock. If we did 6.30, would that? The board is meeting that night. Oh. What's that? Select board is meeting that night. They have a select board meeting that night. Thursdays you can't do? They're not listening. That's, <laughs> never do. They're having, They're having their own, yeah. They're having a meeting. Yeah. What's that? What's that? We're trying to figure out dates. We so, just, Jeff, um, the yeah, library well, people, I mean the community development people, um, can't make it on the 13th. They're coming on the 12th at so 5 o'clock. I was thinking around 5. And we, we just sent our CP, CIP meeting. <laughs> Maybe I could do a 4. I was trying to get We have a 5 so at Wednesday the CIPC. Four, four, if four we six. need to, we can meet in the back room. <coughs> next next week. Is but you won't be early. there. No, this is the twelfth. Is that what you're the saying? Twelfth. The twelfth. Well, no, I I was hoping. Remember, I, I I said I was hoping you could come. Yeah, yeah, I'd love hope. to have everybody there. But maybe I could do a four, uh, get them to come at four, and then roll yeah. into your CIPC, and then we at, at six do our meeting. Um, yeah, let's let's see if we can get them at four. Okay. I know that's a huge problem. No, I'll, I'll, okay. we'll figure it out. Um, All right. Let's, even if I get a couple we'll of minutes. Let's like the doctor in the <laughs> ad. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So uh, you guys can leave it all the same. Let me go one point. week more. Let's see. What's the 24th look like for people? <laughs> I could do that. It works for me. It's fine. Yeah, I have a conflict, but I can sacrifice it. It's, it's a different okay. board meeting, and I, it's fine. Well, let's take one day to the 24th, and we do need to meet sometime in between now and then. Okay, so finance. At least six, once. Six, you're talking 6 o'clock on the 24th? We should do a doodle poll. What are we doing? What? On the 24th. 24th at 6? Yeah, how does that look for you? Did you say 6 Can you p.m.? Do that, John? Yep. I think so. As of right now, yeah. Okay. And, and then and you would like to do another meeting before like, that? I'd like to do a meeting before that. Right. So we should probably just set that, shouldn't we? Yes. Yeah. But well, we at least got the 24th. Now let's go back and see what we can come up with for uh, 
10, 11, 12, 13. Well, it sounds like the 12th is out because of all the other committees. Too many meeting, other right? Meetings. Right. The 12th yeah. is a Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And you have a meeting. We have a selectman's meeting. Right. As well. yeah. And a okay. CIPC. So we'll, 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 do the, we'll do the library community development stuff at 4. Right. Or try to get it at 4. CIPC is um, yeah. five, 5. And, and then, then the 6 selectman. is selectman. At 6 yeah. for the selectman? Yeah. Okay. We may. What date is that? That's the 12th? The 12th. That's the 12th Wednesday. Uh, seeing how you're at 6 o'clock, you'll probably use this room for the community right at 4 for the library. We wouldn't have to. Well, no, I mean, I mean many, I how many people want to come? I think we're anticipating the conference room. Or I think it'll be a small enough group. Well, we can go in there. To, well, that's what I was going to say, John. Yeah, one of the two. Maybe we better, the CIPC, better plan on just meeting in there. Mm -hmm. So in case the library runs over, if they happen to use this, or we run over right. so we don't interfere this with the selection. This is just the first okay. preliminary. Yeah, we're, just we're, an introduction. We're, we're, we're trying to figure out what we can possibly get. Right, so. yeah. So okay. what, what do we if that doesn't work, please let me know. Yes. The, the 11th. What was the problem with the 11th? I can't make I, it I on can't the 11th. I can't be here. Okay. But if, if, if we did something on the 13th, Kevin and I have a meeting from 6 to 7. Okay, you can't make it on the 13th. Julie? That's a Thursday. Yeah. That's okay. A Thursday. Thursday's just are pretty much not out during, for you. Not okay. during Friday. Monday was that? And I might be able to make it by like gone. 7. If I, I can probably leave there early if we, I, have if we, I don't have a day. problem with, on if the we're down to the seven. only day mm -hmm. and and we ruled out the fifth because that was too early too early uh, too, I think, well. yes that's Trevor, too early. Trevor and I can't be here on this set on uh, so the 13th, for 13th we have another meeting at, we at seven o'clock for the fin committee would that work for people when the 13th, Thursday, 7 o'clock. Julie, did you say you could no, make yeah, that possible right. yep. at 7? I do my darndest. Okay, so <laughs> you guys have it yeah. ironed out. I, with I can usually do it. Oh, we'll do that before. Were you going to plan we'll to do, do Kevin yeah. on the 13th? Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah, not the 24th. Or the 24th. We're going to keep the 24th. I can make the 24th to be here with Kevin. Yeah. 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 And truthfully, I think we need to have more time for Kevin because the whole transfer station you know, the yeah, whole we, recycling so we, and all we, that hasn't been sorted Brenda out. Brenda and I have met with Kevin on that. And mm -hmm. Yeah, we well, do we spent, need We spent almost four hours I on know, his budget I know, one day. Then, yeah. Yeah. Is, there, is there other budget items that we can address on the 13th? Yes. That would, like, that would like need what? us to be here, the select board to be here with you? Whether it's, so, whether it's the senior center. So the other budgets uh, would be the, the library. Oh, um, SCAMS. Skims, yeah. skims oh, would be a good one. I should be. Um, yeah. But but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that was the library. I'm not sure a decision was made on the additional hours or whether that needed to go to the personnel board or what no. was that happening was with that in order for us night, to. Right. Yeah. Did we we voted the hours? We did. You I did. don't know if personnel needed no, to look at it. Or yeah, not. personnel's got to look at it. But okay. We we supported the extra hours for the. Um, you know, the the couple of hours for the Saturday tech person. So I think the library is ready to go. Okay. But so. Yeah, I think. So we could do the library, I and we could so. do skims that way. You know, we're talking about somebody moving from eight hours to ten hours or twelve hours. To no, it's five and a half to eight and a half. It's five and a half to eight and a half. It's not. Not much. Not much. But what I'm yeah, I'm not sure that needs to go to the personnel committee. So are we scheduling the FIN committee for 7 o'clock on Thursday the 13th? Yes. If that is okay. Yeah, John, I does just, that work and, for you? So, yeah. It, it, it's just, I just wanted to make sure you... What time? 6? Seven. 7. 7 on the 13th? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Julie can make that it. Way so we, that we can get Julie right here. for a quorum. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, Trevor and I have a previous meeting. All right. We will see Yeah. Yeah. Anything else we need we to talk to about? That's great. Complete streets or clean streets? 
clean street. Completely I've clean street. I like that. Uh, so last, last, just, just, we we are close to being done, right? <laughs> On the, uh, I had mentioned last night, and I'll mention again. Uh, on complete streets, there was a list of like 20 projects that that were highlighted in that. Could the uh, capital improvement committee get a copy of those so we can review those? Because uh, not that it's going to make a, much of a difference, but we we need to add that into the five-year plan. So actually, that's really true. Even though they're grant based. Right. Um, you, you you would have to do that, I think. Right. So. Yeah, it's on our website, but I can print a copy out for you. And okay, you great. Out. Because that way we'll we'll at least be able to include it in some way, shape, or form, and try to include some type of dollar, even though it's going to be covered with grant money. Speaking for of the most part, on the uh, on the thirteenth. Yes. Are you going to be? Is the capital improvement committee going to be up to date enough so that you can kind of bring us? We could take a look at or you can come in and talk with us. I, I could members. speak, okay. right. I, I think our committee could speak to it. John and I probably mm -hmm. could speak to that on the on the 13th. Okay. Uh, we may not have a physical five year plan in just, hand. Just the conversation, but we can actually talk. Right. You know, this, our, our five year plan is, is more right. along further than we've ever been before because we're picking up so many things that. We never picked up before, so. Right, we are, we're. I mean, I think it's much more comprehensive. We're scheduled to vote on the 12th, Jeff, so. Right, yeah. Well, we just won't be able to do a physical copy of everything right. for the 13th. Yeah, that's but to all. give, skip a number, we But we could. can, right, no, at least we can verbalize it and we're, give we're, them one. Right. Things that, right. And then we, and then if it's two weeks later or three weeks later, Sometime in March, as far as getting the, the right. Well, I think we're numbers. we're trying we're trying to get the public hearing for February 26. Yeah. So select board because the next time we meet is then March. And we March. should we should probably meet with the uh, finance committee in the select board prior to a public meeting, no. just to fine tune well, well, that to make sure to. that we are because we're meeting on the 24th. Well, what you can what we can do is we can report to the select board on the twelfth, because the next time the selectmen meet are on the twenty sixth, which won't. is which yeah, has the public hearing. We won't be ready on the twelfth. We yeah. probably won't be ready on the twelfth. But uh, could you possibly meet with the fin committee on the twenty fourth at six o'clock? Certainly, I mean I can. Right. So. And that way, that way, or the, maybe the select board could meet that, yeah. or a yeah. couple of you could meet with the fin committee, do like a joint meeting. That way, we can run the five-year plan through yep. the two committees, and well, I'm a twofer, so right, and then be able to we'll get one right, more person. right, and then and then that way, if you want to try to uh, the 26th, though, remember, I know you're talking about 26 for. A, Public no, it's just, it's just a, I mean, I just, the reason why I'm putting it out there is a, it's better to have that target because otherwise we're going into March, March 11th. Right. Well, I was thinking right at the beginning of March to do a public hearing. Okay. Diana, would that be all right Time as far as the timelines? I just want to make sure we're not running into any issues here. I don't but. think the warrant closes until um, the first week of April. Right, Diana? Yeah, so if we do, you know, last week of February or the first week of March, I think we're both okay. Okay, let's leave that open for, for the moment, and we'll know more in another week or two. Yeah. But I would say that we probably could pull that off maybe the first week of March would be a little bit better. Okay. Okay. I'm okay, still so gunning for the 26th. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, we'll leave it open. The Finance Committee is scheduled for the 13th at 7 o'clock and the 24th at 6 o'clock. Correct. Okay. Any further business that we need to take up? Yeah. 
You need to make a motion to adjourn. You I'll motion. second that one. Move <laughs> seconded. All those in favor? All right. It's unanimous. It's the first time I've seen you smile it. all night. <laughs>